Nobody looks at anything. See, everybody is looking like this. Nobody has any attention for a piece of life here. They're like this. If you pay attention to one life, one blade of grass, one grasshopper, one human being, something else will happen. That's why we said life and love because if you pay attention to one human being, some love will happen within you, okay? <laughs> if you miss life, at least some emotion in that direction must happen to you. That will happen only if you pay attention to one. If you're looking at like this, these days it's become a fashion because you're on love on Facebook, you love the whole humanity. <laughs> to love one human being, if you want to love one human being, it costs life. To love the whole humanity doesn't cost anything. It's even better to love God because it's always easy to love somebody who's not here now. <laughs> it's so easy. But if you have to love somebody who's sitting next to you right now, it costs life. You know how difficult it is to love someone who's next to you right now? How easy it is to love someone who is dead or who is in heaven? Isn't it so? Let's face it. Because if you have to love one, one thing is you have to pay attention. Without attention it will not happen. And above all, you have to give up something that is you to accommodate another, otherwise it will not happen. The English expression is very good, you must fall in love. You cannot rise in love, you cannot stand in love, you cannot fly in love, you have to fall. Something of you should fall, otherwise it will not work, you will not know it. So, you want to have a fake sense of life, then you don't pay attention to anything. Everything is information, nothing is a living experience. Everything is from the textbook or from the cinema or from the internet. Nothing is from life's experience. We're doing more and more today of that. <laughs> so what did you say <laughs> <laughs> I, I only said, see what is this need for love in a human being? You must understand, a human being constantly, constantly, a human being is longing to be something more than what they are right now. If this finds a simple, basic physical expression, we call this sexuality. Sexuality means just this, physically you're trying to make something which is not you a part of yourself. For a few moments you may succeed. If you try this mentally, it gets labeled as greed, conquest or maybe simply shopping. Shopping, shopping. <laughs> some people go for conquest with swords and guns, some people go with checkbooks and cash, you know, credit cards. The thing is you want to include something which is not a part of you as yourself, that is the whole effort. Whether you want money or wealth or you want to occupy a nation, what is it? Something that is not you, you want to make it yours. Yours is an effort to make it a part of yourself. If it happens emotionally, on the emotional level if you try this, we call this a love affair. You're trying to make somebody who is not a part of you, a part of yourself emotionally, this is a love affair. If you do it consciously, we call this yoga, yoga means union. So all these efforts are fine, everything has its own beauty but has its own limitations. When you understand the limitations of all the other methods, nothing right or wrong about it, it is just that it will work briefly, it will not work for always. It is just that it will work briefly, it will not work for always. When you realize that, you consciously try to include. When you consciously become an inclusive process, if you sit here, if you experience everything as yourself, then we say you're a yogi, okay? So this is a love affair successful. <laughs>